why does everything look so sexual? I swear, I get better than sex mascara and then everything is like wet and a penis and whatever else. Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I am so excited to do this video today, uh, but I can't get too excited because you guys are on a new tripod on my vanity and you guys are precariously balanced on top of lipstick tubes. So don't get too excited. Don't move around too much. I really don't want you guys falling in my lap. But yeah, I have been wanting to make this video forever, but I just kept putting off joining. Um, I guess I should tell you guys what it is that today's video is about, but I signed up for BoxyCharm and I'm actually opening my very first BoxyCharm in this video, which is super exciting for me. I have never had a subscription box. Um, I've wanted to do them. I've joined Influencer. They've sent me some boxes and stuff. I typically know if I'm getting one and I typically know what I'm getting in it. So it's not like a, a super big surprise. If you don't know what BoxyCharm is, I should have I should have like written down the different information before starting this film, but I didn't. I think it's $21 a month. I think you're supposed to get four to five full size beauty items. Um, I think they're makeup and skincare and some hair products. I know a lot of people get palettes in these and this month does not have a palette, but I am all for palettes. I don't care how similar they are. I don't care how redundant they get. Like give me all the palettes. I am obsessed. Um, I will link all of their information down below. I will also link you guys a link to join. I don't get anything in return, I don't think. I think I might get like points and that's it. And then it goes toward something. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, yeah, so let's just get into it. And I don't have scissors, so I have to stab the tape repeatedly with tweezers. All right. Oh, okay. Um, first of all, that's cute. So it opens up and it has all of their social media just right there on the top. I'll be honest. I only follow them on Instagram, uh, but they post like all day, every day. And I check them out constantly, especially because they, uh, blah, 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 they post sneak peeks. And I guess if you don't want to know what's going to come in your box or what might come into your box, you probably don't want to look at the sneak peeks, but I do. I am a cheater and I like surprises, but I also like knowing things. All right. So you get a card and each month, each month, each month has a theme. This month's theme is afterglow. So this is what it looks like. It's actually packaged really nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, the first thing I see is pharmacy clean B. It is an ultra gentle facial cleanser. I have never tried anything from pharmacy and you get a hundred mils or 3.4 fluid ounces. What does it say about this? Uh, uh, uh. Soothe and hydrate your skin while lifting dirt, excess oil, impurities, grime, and makeup. Your new Pharmacy Clean B Ultra Gentle Facial Cleanser was made for daily use, keeping those with sensitive skin in mind. Ooh, nice. Um, it has naturally derived ingredients like coconut, sugar, amino acids, and a powerful botanical blend of turmeric, chamomile, calendula i don't know what that is uh aloe and licorice root so very cool um it retails for 22 dollars i will be trying the products out during this video as well um so we're gonna go in my bathroom in a minute and wash my face with this to see how it feels how it smells how wonderful or how non-wonderful it is okay so next is this i am so excited i have seen people raving about this and i believe it is from Korea. So, you know, Korea, they have like the best beauty products. Um, it is the no problem primer. Very cute. Smooth and pore covering top secret for perfect makeup. And you get 1.01 fluid ounces or 30 mils. So it's actually about the size of a standard foundation, which is pretty good because how much do I get in my normal primer? My normal primer is 40 mils, 1.35. So it's not too much of a difference. Create a seamless canvas for your foundation with the new Touch and Soul No Problem Primer. A light, silky texture blurs pores and wrinkles, giving your skin a soft velvet feel. Green tea and collagen act as adhesives. That's pretty sweet right there, okay? Um, lost my place. Holding on tight to your makeup for many hours of flawlessness. I almost said flossomeness flawlessness my pores are probably one of my 
biggest insecurities as well as my wrinkles because I'm old. But yes, yeah, so we're gonna be giving this a try as well. All right, so now what I'm seeing, uh, we'll start with this because I know what this is. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, which I've never understood this, I'll be honest. I love the mascara I use, um, no complaints, it adds volume, length, everything. So this already has, I guess, big shoes to fill, but to be called better than sex mascara. Like this really has some huge, huge shoes to be filled, to be better than sex. I just wanna point that out. Um, but so it's by Too Faced and, oh, I forgot to say, so the no pore blim, cost okay it retails for $18 the Too Faced better than sex mascara says indulge in a mascara that actually lives up to its name which this better curl my toes then seriously not just my lashes but also my toes separates coats and curls each lash to voluptuous perfection okay acai senegal tree extracts sets volume while firm forming film forming polymers lock your lashes into a perfect curl retails for 24 dollars which i'm okay with because my mascara that i use right now is 24 dollars. i have heard such great things Ooh. all right so i was i picked this up and i was really excited but then i felt how cheap it was i really honestly thought it was going to be like a metal container with a glass um window but no it's actually just like the cheapest of cheapest plastics huh okay and this is the pretty vulgar shimmering swan highlighter it says allow your skin to capture the light of any room you walk into with this unique velvety smooth highlighter infused with glow loving light reflecting and pearlescent pigments this highlighter will give your skin the perfect amount of brightness and this retails for $32. Again, I just want to say, like, this... I don't know if you guys can hear, but this is some really cheap packaging to be $32. So the highlighter better be, you know, amazing. Which I love highlighter. That's what it looks like. I don't really see much of a shimmer. So we're going to try this on once we get my base face on and try it out. Then the last item. Oh, this is interesting. This is Trace Deek Prime and Glaze Lip crayon Ooh. Oh, okay so there's a primer on the end and i love this like this is just the casing but it's so fun this says two in one lip duo features a luxurious lip smoothing primer on one side and a shiny color glaze on the other the priming side smooths lips and glides on like a balm creating a super smooth canvas the color glaze effortlessly glides onto your lips to leave behind a pop of soft, shiny color. Okay, so maybe it's not gonna be like a super dense pigmented lipstick, but like a soft, sheer pop of color. And I feel feel like that might be what this is. So let's open it. I don't wanna like bust. Ah, oh, fun, you guys, look at this. Watch. Ah, oh, it's like magnetic, that is amazing. Ah, oh, that is so, I could play with that all day. All right, let's see. I guess I didn't see what color it comes in. Does it have a shade? English Rose. All right, this is, ooh, that's a very interesting application shape and size. All right, all right, I'm okay with that. And then that is the color. We're gonna do this again, you guys. This is so fun. How like close does it need to be? Oh, <laughs> I'm so, I don't know, like 10. All right, this is uh, the primer. Oh, it's so cute. It's like a little baby, like spherical thing of, I don't know, primer. All right, we're gonna try that in a second, but first I'm gonna go wash my face. So this is pretty cool. Let's find out how much these products are worth, and then we'll go try this stuff out. Ooh, ooh. Let me find my calculator. Oh, and that retails for $25. I guess I forgot to say that about the tray steak. I think I'm saying it right. I hope I'm saying it right. So Too Faced is 24. Pretty Vulgar is 32. The No Pore Bloom Primer is 18. Pharmacy Clean Bee Ultra that item was 22. And then the tray steak was 25. Okay. Okay, so it's a total of $121. So I get $100 more in value of product when, than what I already paid for $21. So that's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. I mean, I know some people were complaining about this month. They weren't happy, but 
hello, like, you just got a boatload of stuff for like $21. So let's go try this out in my bathroom and see how amazing it is. Welcome to my bathroom. So let's go ahead and wash my face. I did go ahead and open this and let me tell you, it smells really good. It smells like Whole Foods. Go ahead and get my face wet. Ooh, it seriously looks like I'm pouring honey onto my hand. Let's see. Oh, it feels so good. Yeah, it definitely smells like Whole Foods or Earth Fair. Really like this. It's super foamy and super soft. I suppose before I put this on my face, I should have read the instructions to see if there was anything special. I just took it for granted that I'm washing my face. So just add water, stick on face. Apply to wet skin and massage on face in a circular motion. Rinse with warm water. Use morning and night. Okay, so yeah, I didn't do anything that I wasn't supposed to do. You know what? You don't have to watch the rest of this boring part. I will just see you guys back in my bedroom. And now we're back in here and you're back to balancing precariously on tubes of lipstick. My final thoughts for this, uh, obviously skincare, you have to use it several times to really find out whether or not it works for you. But I will say that when I was trying off my face, I did notice that I had one, two, three little spots. This is where I picked up my face and these are two little acne spots, but those did kind of burn a little bit. I don't know if that's the turmeric. I don't know if it's the licorice root. I don't know what it is. Um, and it might just be that I'm making a bigger deal out of it than what it actually is. But if you are acne prone or have acne skin, I would just say maybe be aware that this might burn your face a little bit. Nowhere on my face did it hurt. It's actually really, really soft. It feels clean it feels really nice i didn't notice it do anything for my pores um it didn't really add any brightness it's just my face feel, feels very clean and refreshed but again skincare you have to use it multiple times to really find out how it's going to work for you now i'm going to try the no problem primer which i love this packaging i love that it comes in glass it just feels more high-end more i don't know like not drugstore. Uh, but yeah, hopefully this is going to heal or not heal, but cover up and eliminate or minimi minimize, <laughs> minimize the pores on my face. This is the pump that it comes with. It looks pretty standard. I don't know if there are directions on this. There's not. There's Korean. I'm just going to put, oh, that might be too much. I don't know that it necessarily smells. It is a cute pink color, if a primer can be cute. Okay, it's very smooth. Oh yeah, this is very silky, very smooth. Oh, I like this. From what I can see on my face, it's very mattifying. Still, I can see my fine lines and wrinkles but this feels amazing. It is slightly tacky, but not like sticky. It just feels like there's something on there, which is good because it's gonna hold on to my foundation, hopefully. I am going to go now and do the rest of my face and we'll try the rest of these products. Well, that took an unnecessarily long amount of time, so I apologize. Why am I apologizing? You guys weren't waiting for me. Never mind. I'm being too polite. But okay, so let's get to trying these last couple of products. I am going to start with the mascara because I feel like my eyes look crazy with nothing on my lashes. Okay, so this is what the wand looks like. It's pretty fluffy. Uh, it's quite big. So I love it. It's better than sex mascara and it's quite big. All right, let's try this. Ooh, it's wet. It goes on very nicely. It's separating my lashes, which I love because my lashes all want to be friends and hold hands. But this actually is curling them up. This is one coat. This is without. Let me try a second coat. I like the shape of the mascara wand. Just gonna try really carefully to put this on my lower lashes without making a mess. Other eyeball. I don't 
know why, but I have the worst time putting mascara on my left eye. Ugh, the bristles are so long. I feel them at the base of my lashes kind of like combing through it. It's a weird sensation. I don't think it's actually better than sex. It is good mascara though. So next to try is going to be the highlight. Okay. It's a lot more highlighty than I thought it was going to be. It's very soft. It's very powdery. <laughs> yeah, I like that. It's a little bit more natural than the highlight that I normally use because I use the ColourPop Super Shock uh, in Flexitarian. However, this is a really nice, it just gives you like a really nice glow. Um, yeah, wish the packaging was better, but I like it. This has six grams and the Super Shock has 4.2 grams. So this actually has more than the Super Shock. Granted, there's a huge price difference. The last bit that I need to do are my lips and I did exfoliate them but I didn't put anything else on them and I can feel the dryness I'm one of those people that have to constantly uh, put something on my lips because I can't stand them to be dry so we're gonna try the balm first okay like it doesn't seem to be anything at all so it's a clear balm it goes on really smooth It feels tacky-ish. Oh, and look, it twists up. So there's actually product like down in. Okay, so now we get to undo the magnetic part, which I love. And try this beautiful shade. It's a little bit more berry-ish than what I thought it was gonna look like. The collar definitely does not go with my eye look. It was on very smooth. Oh, this is, this right here is a look. It does feel hydrating and moisturizing. I like that it's kind of flat so you can get really thick, um, pigmented. You guys, <laughs> it's stuck on the side of my mirror. <laughs> Why does everything look so sexual? I swear, I get better than sex mascara and then everything is like, wet and a penis and whatever else. Um, all right, so I'm gonna put that back on. <laughs> I like this. It feels very lightweight. It's very comfortable. I like the consistency. I like the finish. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this a thumbs up. But yeah, that's all I have for you guys today. I can't wait until next month. I will definitely have a, another BoxyCharm to open up for you guys and show you what all I get. Please make sure to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and turn, turn on your notification bell so that you get updated every time that I put up a video. Also check out this description because I will put a link up for BoxyCharm. Uh, yeah, I think that's all of the stuff that's listed in my head for me to remember. And I will see you guys in my next video. So bye.